Nobel man said don't worry I will definitely punish those uncle and nephew severely. Give an explanation to them and the people of the whole city. Empress angrily asked him is it just the two of them. That Nobel man was trembling he said that's right. Such ethos must be uprooted. Hong was looking at his wife talking to that high ranking man like that. He said wife this person is the master of the profound realm and the empress is confidant. It can be said that he has power over the court and the opposition. I didn't expect him to be so sensible. When Empress Ye hears him she smiles and said, That's right I didn't think about it. I thought that the upper beam was not straight and the lower beam was crooked. Almost gave up on the Empress and her ministers. Hong said wife since this Nobel man is so sensible can we get back the money that was robbed just now? This is our family's life-saving money. Empress Ye bowed down in front of that man and said, Lord can you return the 100 tails of silver that my family was extorted from? Me and my husband will thank you very much. That Nobel man said such unreasonable things must be double compensated. He told his man to take 200 tails. He said I am not strict in governing so it will be deducted from my salary. Both Empress Yi and Hong were happy. But thank the Nobel man. Empress Yi hold Hong's hand and ask him to go home. At their home, Hong hugged his wife and said wife you were frightened you were almost killed by that beast. Empress Yi was blushing. She said as long as my husband is by my side, I am not afraid of anything. Both Hong and Empress Yi decided in mind that that officer's family is finished. Hong said wife we just had a disaster let's relax together. Empress Yi while blushing asked how to relax. Hong said let's do something interesting together. They kissed each other and they had a very loving day and night. Next day Hong said goodbye to his wife and said he is going to the store. When he comes out of the house, he gets serious and said the first job today is to destroy that officer's family. Hong goes to their house. When he saw their house he said such a small ant how could afford to live in such a mansion? How much oil and water did really scrape off? When he looks at the house he thought in broad daylight why is no one guarding the door? He looks around and when no one was looking, he teleport himself in that house's family hall. But there was not a single person. Hong thought said this is weird. Hong used his time and space reappear technique, a huge portal apera in front of him. In that portal Hong saw that a day ago that Nobel man from from Imperial Palace destroyed that officer's family's front door, catch all the family members to be headed tomorrow. When Hong see that, he thought that his corruption and extortion are crimes against the nine clans. Hong's anger got down. He said since someone have done it then I won't have to do it. But Hong was still angry that they die so easy. On the other side at Palace Empress he was seating on the throne. A dragon made of spiritual energy was roaming around her. Everyone was kneeling in front of her. General Fu was also there. She thought I just came back from the expedition and the state of Her Majesty the Empress has reached an unbelievable level. No one dare to look directly at this arrogant and domineering aura. Old Minister Feng said Empress Yi the assassin's matter has been investigated. The assassin who tried to assassination on General Fu was sent by King Ning. King Ning wants to take this opportunity to dispatch the Black Dragon Army to capital the city and seize the throne. When other ministers heard him, they were surprised that King Ning wants to rebel. Another minister said, How could King Ning be so confused? Empress he smiles and said it turned out to be my good uncle. She was very angry she said since it was you who made the move first, don't blame me for not thinking about blood and family. She said General if I leave it you, General Fu said yes Empress. Old Minister Feng said your Empress there is one more thing that Shen Feng spies come to report. The Beiwei Venerable of the Black and White Taoist Palace, the Red Dragon Venerable of Kyanlong Temple, Tianji Venerable of Wuji Sect, the Rose Venerable of Wanhua Valley, Jingxuan Venerable of Kingxuan Sect and the Divine Sword Venerable of the Sky Splitting Sword Sect. All six Venerable in the Divine Fire Realm are rushing to Fengjing City. That Nobel man who come to prison to help Empress is Prime Minister Fu. Prime Minister Fu said Empress they are all the supreme elders of the six strongest sects in this dynasty. They rarely show up so what is the point of coming to capital together? Empress he was angry she said if I am not mistaken my uncle offered these six sects an offer they couldn't refuse. Maybe things revealed the battle of the beast. General Fu thought what is the advantage that can make the venerable of divine fire realm take action? Looking at the whole Nanzo it is the peak combat power. A minister said the six divine fire realm plus King Ning's black dragon army how would we fight? Other minister said we can also invite experts. Other one said there is no other sect that has masters at the divine fire realm. Empress he thought I had just awakened the divine consciousness of Empress he, although entered the state very quickly but in the face of six masters from the divine fire realm teaming up, she can only barely draw a tie. Empress he stand up on her seat and said since these old things dare to come and meddle in my struggle for the throne, 
Empress released lots of spiritual energy that covered the whole palace. She said I will meet them then. All the generals and ministers were too surprised. They thought that her majesty lives in seclusion and her realm is so terrifying. Everyone shouted we will follow your majesty to the death. Fight against powerful enemies together defend our home and dynasty. Empress he thought I must not let the flames of war burn to the capital and hurt my husband. In the capital everyone was talking that there is going to be a war. King Ning is coming with 300,000 Black Drivagon army. A guy said I heard that there are six venerable. What to do? Will we all die? On that night Hong was eating dinner with his wife. Empress said husband Fengjing city is not peaceful recently you should don't run around if you have nothing to do. Hong told her to don't worry he said I will be careful. After she left Hong get very angry thinking that those group of rats are too daring. They didn't listen to my warning and let my wife worry. He was releasing lots of demon kai. He said a mere little king from the lower realms made my wife so frightened. I will be not merciful and arrange a group extermination for them. He controlled his anger and calmed down, then released spiritual energy around him. His spiritual energy first covered the capital and covered the whole kingdom. He felt that the big forces are just a hundred miles away. He thought these six are foreign aid, a little bit bigger than the previous little ants. He teleported himself and goes in front of King Ning's big tent. A soldier goes running inside that tent to report. Hong also goes inside. The soldier said King the six masters of Divin Fire are about to rush to Fengjing City. They send subordinate to inform King that he can send troops to attack now. They will come to support immediately. Yellowhaired said King as long as that sneaky rat appears, six venerable can capture him for the sake of the king. When Hong heard them he thought who are they still ambushing? King Ning smiles and said I want to chop him into eight pieces with my own hands. He ordered the three armies to immediately set off to take down the palace. He said I will reward them for catching that stinky girl Lai Su. Lai Su is Empress he's this life's name. Hong said this little thing in the divine fire realm is not tricky for the him. I will take care of it. As for this King Ning let the Empress deal with it. Just to test whether this perennially invisible Empress has the strength to guard Fengjing City. He thought if she can't deal with the little things, she can't protect the peace of Kai and Feng City, and that will disturb the stable life that my wife desires most. Then I have to re-elect a capable emperor for Kai and Feng Kingdom. He teleport himself from King Ning's camp. King Ning then goes to motivate the soldiers. He said soldiers I have something to announce. He looks at a paper and said the empress is young, so she is an incapable of governing the kingdom. This caused frequent civil strife. My Tianfeng ancestor have taught and protected all people thoroughly. I will not forget for a moment. The soldiers of the three armies will follow me and rebuild a peaceful Tianfeng kingdom. Build a great cause that will never end. Soldiers were confused they were not saying anything. King Ning thought what's going on don't these country bumpkins give me some voice for my impassioned speech. That yellow-haired man asked those soldiers, Do you have anything you want to express to his royal highness King Ning? When soldiers heard him they started cheering. They said, abolish the old and establish the new. Your Highness King Ning is the best candidate. Your Royal Highness King Ning is like a king who deserves the throne. Long live King Ning. Your Royal Highness King Ning has the world in mind. He is a wise king in this world. We are willing to follow your Royal Highness King Ning. When King Ning hears them he was comfortable. He won a little more cheering. His general bowed down in front on him and said, Your Highness, the supplies are ready. Please give instructions. King Ning raised his sword and said, All will obey orders. Catch the useless woman. Reward 10,000 tails. Seal 10,000 households. Soldiers started howling. King Ning smiles thinking all is ready except for the opportunity. My wish will come true soon. On Fengjing City Tower a soldier comes to report to Empress Yi. Empress was ready for battle while wearing a silver armor. That soldier report that a large army of troops appeared in front of their city. It was confirmed by their spies that it was King Ning's army. Empress Yi thought since uncle intend to destroy the peace of me and husband. Don't blame me for taking care of you. She called Prime Minister Fu and said if I lose this battle, then send someone to Hong Yu wood carving shop to take my husband away, the farther the better. Minister bowed down and said yes Empress. She called General Fu and told her to fight alongside her. She comes down and told them to set off. Empress Yu was very sad. She said husband I really don't want to leave you. What about the Empress? What about the Central Heavenly Empress? Those are not as good as you. The days with you are the happiest days of my life. So this battle I must win. In woods outside the city, those master for the six sects were coming towards the capital. One master asked another, Who do you think is the mysterious person that King Ning's Mancio? Female master said a powerhouse above the fourth level of the divine fire realm is very rare in the territory of the Xinfeng dynasty. It must not be some unknown person. 
old master said small talk ends here King Ning's army has started. Everyone lets to go, they were seating around a tree. King Xuan sex King Xuan said King Ning gave us the treasure map of Tian Sanren to help him win this mortal throne. This deal is profitable not bad. Black and white Tao Palace sex Beiwei said Tian Hua Sunren is a peerless master who breaks through this realm. His treasure is very important to us. If we cultivators of the divine fire realm can survive the four great catastrophes of wind, fire, thunder, and heart, we will be able to truly reborn and live a thousand years. Heavenly Dragon Temple Sex Red Dragon told them to stop showing off their little knowledge with their yin and yang face. He said I still have to thank this mysterious person for giving you the opportunity to break through the shackles of this realm. Sky Splitting Sword Sex Holy Sword Master said unexpectedly this little mortal King Ning could get the treasure map of Tianhua Sunren. Wanhua Valley Sex Rose was seating on a tree branch. While laughing she said then this time we must help this King Ning take the throne. Muji Sex Tianji said a mere little girl in her early twenties is not worthy of the old man's hand I am only interested in that mysterious man. Suddenly a voice comes you are too slow. Everyone gets alert they ask who is there, it was Hong standing on top of a tree and was releasing lots of dark spiritual energy. He said I have been waiting for a long time for you guys. All the masters were little scared because they didn't even realize Hong was there. Now they know that the realm of this person is above them. Red Dragon Master comes forward and said you must be the venerable at the divine fire realm who threatened King Ning. Red Dragon Master makes a dragon with spiritual energy and said I advise his fellow Taoists to leave quickly. Don't wait into this muddy water otherwise life is at stake. Don't forget we have six masters here. He shouted and told Hong to back off obediently. Hong laughs and said small cultivators in the lower realms. Hong thought it's ridiculous and ignorance. Even the top immortals and demon generals in the upper world would kneel down and lick my shoes when they saw me. Hong said let's get started you should use your acrobatics to please me. They were shocked that he didn't even pay attention to them and the other five. Tianji master pull out his sword and said get out of the way everyone. He attacked Hong saying, you hide your head and show your tail. The old man wants to see what skills you have. Take it 40 meters great sword. Hong smiles and said it just the light of rice grains. That old man gets man and shouted how dare you then die under the light of the rice grains. He thrust his sword into Hong's stomach. His sword get big as he go ahead. Other masters said this old man's holy sword is really short-tempered and his first move is a killer move. Red Dragon Master said under this kind of power can that guy survive? Old man said maybe. There was nothing on the ground he said that it's a one-hit kill. A guy said that the holy sword master is very powerful. But when that old man look again he said no it's wrong. That holy sword's man fall on the ground and Hong was not even a bit injured. Holy sword master died. The loser is the holy sword. Everyone was scared when they saw that Hong killed Holy Sword Master. That old man asked Hong are you at the pinnacle of the Divine Fire Realm? Hong smiles at them and said it's your turn. That old man told Hong to wait. He asked if he know the consequences of killing them. Hong smiles and asks them what the consequences are. That old man said your realm is extraordinary and we are not as good as you. You warned King Ning just because you don't want him to rebel. But if you want to kill us, you will offend the six major sects and the entire Xinfeng dynasty will also be ruined. Is this what you want to see? The six sects had a great cultivator at the peak of the divine fire realm. He told Hong that it's better to stop here don't hurt your peace. Hong smiles and said you reminded me something. Hong released lots of spiritual energy and said I will destroy the six sects by the way. Those master realized that Hong is not threatened by the sect behind them. That old man said everyone now go to your own destiny. Everyone tried to run away from Hong. Hong said when one meet this deity even an immortal emperor can't run away. With just a single slice of Hong's spiritual strike, he grabbed all those master in his spiritual power. They could not even move they shouted, it's impossible. How can he do this? They realized that Hong is not in the peak of the divine fire realm, but he is immortal. That old man said almighty forgive, Hong just flick his fingers and all of their body blast, and they all died. Hong said what a nest of cockroaches, I should destroy the so-called six sets too, to avoid trouble. On the other hand at Fengjing city wall, King Ning's army attacked the city. He used cannons to destroy the city walks. He was riding a carriage. He told the soldier to quickly maximize thunder sound. A giant sound cannon appeared behind King Ning. King Ning said Empress Yi what qualifications do you have to be the Empress of the Xinfeng dynasty? Abdicate quickly and I will spare your life. General Fu point her spear at King Ning and said King Ning you are a servant. You are the one who commits the crime you are a treason. King Ning get angry that how dare a little girl scold him. He said wait for this king to ascend the throne, then I will deal with you. 
Empress he comes forward and said Imperial Uncle I give you a chance. If you withdraw your troops now, I will pretend that this has never happened. King Ning laughs and said yes as long as you hand over the throne to me. Empress turned around and said let's fight then. King Ning get angry and said Empress is stupid and don't know what's good or bad. King Ning shouted whoever take her down, I will give them lot of rewards. King Ning's army get excited after hearing that and charge at the city walls. King Ning said cultivators it's your turn. Many cultivators from out from King Ning's side and start attacking Empress Yi's army. All the soldiers get scared after seeing that many cultivators. General Fu stand in front of Empress to protect her and said your majesty. King Ning has brought out all his wealth, Empress said after decades of operation. His power is deeply rooted. Sooner or later it will be reversed. General Fu and Primer Minister Fu charge at those cultivators to protect the Empress. Empress thought with the brothers and sisters of the Fu family leading the army, plus the Imperial Circle, it is not a big problem. But my opponents are the six masters of Divine Fire Realm. I can't feel their kai, is it an ambush? Suddenly someone attacked the city walls from inside. Old Minister Feng comes running to Empress. He said your majesty it's not good. The Zhu family, the Tianyu family, and some ministers' families in the city brought their private soldiers to kill. Empress hear the traitors shouting, catch the Empress there will be many rewards. Because of the attack from both sides the city gate broke. King Ning laughs and said well done old bastards. King Ning's subordinate said your highness King Ning. The mysterious man and the six divine fire masters did not show up. It seems that they are stuck. Ning Ning laughs and said very good. King Ning's was thinking that as long as that person doesn't come out to disrupt the situation. The throne is in my pocket. Prime Minister Fu report to Empress that the ancestors of the profound realm from the major families made a move and broke the defense circle of the East City. Soldiers get scared after hearing that. They said it's over what to do now. Prime Minister Fu said the situation is critical. I dare to ask his majesty to move to another safe place. Old Minister Feng said your majesty would you please. But Empress didn't let him complete his words and said the Empress makes own decision. Empress thought the internal forces colluded with King Ning have surfaced it seems almost there. A soldier report to King Ning that the city gate has been destroyed. King Ning claps and said good it's very good. King Ning said Master Dulong. Master Ji Yu Wong, Master Kun will let take down that stinky girl. King Ning from a side and city traders from the other side surrounded the Empress. Old Minister Feng said it's over. He was panicking and saying what come to his mind so Empress told him to shut up. King Ning point his sword at Empress and said I benevolently loves my people. Those who surrender will not be killed. Soldiers in front throw their weapons and goes to King Ning's side. Prime Minister try to stop them saying they'll regret it but scared soldiers goes towards King while shouting that they surrender. They said we will regret it if we don't go, we don't want to follow you to death in vain. Prime Minister Fu was very angry. Empress looks at Prime Minister Fu and General Fu and said them why don't you surrender. Both Prime Minister and General looks at each other and in sync said we brothers and sisters will follow Her Majesty to the death. Minister Feng said this old minister is loyal to Her Majesty and the old minister believes that Her Majesty will be able to turn the tide. Empress smile and said very good. She walked towards the general and prime minister and said since the six masters divine fire didn't show lip, I won't wait any longer. King Ning laughs and said little girl, do you know the tide is over? Empress laughs and said you are too happy uncle. King Ning was little surprised. Empress released her spiritual powers and was floating in the air. A spiritual dragon appeared behind her. She said King Ning you shouldn't have forgotten who made the Shen Feng dynasty strong all these years. After witnessing the radiant aura of Empress all the soldiers get on there and ask for forgiveness. The dragon behind Empress looks to cool and powerful. King Ning was get little scared after seeing Empress power. Empress looks at King Ning and said you are surrounded by me. Those who surrender will not be killed. King Ning laughs and said ridiculous, saying that those who surrender are not killed. It is clear that our side has the upper hand. Let you listen to our morale. King Ning was expecting that everyone would cheer and howl but not a single soldier stand up to say anything. King Ning was confused. His general said your majesty King Ning everyone was too frightened to stand up. King Ning asked aren't you still standing? General said this subordinate kneels here. King Ning again shouted bold demon girl are you really not afraid of the six venerable? But nothing happened again no one showed up. King Ning was shocked what's happening. Empress with a angry look said I have no patience to watch you play monkey games. Old minister Feng come to Empress and said your majesty please listens to the minister. King Ning is full of tricks beware of fraud. 
Empress said things have come to this is there any way out. Empress was flying in sky and wait for King Ning to attack or the six sex master to come. King Ning looks at Empress and said I wanted to spare you. But now, don't blame me for being cruel. Empress released her spiritual aura and said those who surrender will not be killed. Her aura was too strong that normal soldier couldn't do anything against her. Empress raised her hand and released her spiritual energy towards the sky, and the yellow dragon appeared behind her. King Ning's general was shaking in fear. He said golden dragon manifestation this is the sixth level of the divine fire. King Ning said what are you afraid of we have it too. King Ning said I respectfully invite the six venerable to show up and slay the demon girl. But nothing happened no one showed up. General told King Ning that maybe the venerables dozed off and didn't hear. King Ning shouted this time I respectfully invite the six venerables to show up and slay the demon girl. But again nothing happened on one showed up. Well it was expected because Hong already killed them. Empress said King Ning I knew you had the heart of disobedience. King Ning was very angry shouted six venerables. Six venerables where are you? King Ning ordered his gender to send someone to find them they must be lost. A soldier of King Ning was going to find them but Empress released her strong spiritual aura and killed that soldier. Empress said King Ning I knew you had objections. If you don't rebel I can't find a reason to kill you. King Ning was very angry he said I can't just relying on you a stinky girl. Empress said those who rebelled just now, I deliberately let you join King Ning. I want to catch you all. She said anyone who betrays me today, betray the dynasty and betrayer to the people. Don't even try to escape you are already surrounded by me. She was very angry while saying that. Soldiers were too scared to see her like that. They get on their knees and said your majesty Havel mercy we were all forced by King Ning. One soldier said I am loyal to her majesty in my hearts. I just want to be her majesty's undercover agent. That soldier pull up his sword and killed the soldier behind. And with that all the King Ning's soldiers started killing each other. Prime Minister Fu said to Minister Feng. I have known for a long time that her majesty's entry into the stage has been astonishing and has been holding back. Only a fool would rebel. If those guys don't listen to advice it's the end of it. Empress he thought I the emperor has awakened my sense of immortality. With the blessing of true immortality wanted to delay it for a while. At that time even the ancestors of the six sects, the peak divine fire went out together would be all ants. Empress he looks at the city and thought it's really lucky at this moment. The venerable of the six divine fire have not appeared. This must be resolved quickly. She turned back and said soldiers obey orders. All the soldiers kneel in front of her. Empress raised her hand and said all traitors must be killed. Soldiers were motivated by her. They said yes and all the soldiers went out to kill the enemy. Even the normal soldiers look frightening. King Ning fall on the ground as he was too scared. He said how could this happen? Why see you this stinking girl how could she be so powerful? King Ning said all those above the profound realm let's go together kill her up with numbers. All the cultivators above profound realm surrounded the empress. As empress was angry she released her spiritual energy and that golden dragon appeared to attack the enemy. King Ning's cultivators were to shock to see dragon control heaven technique. This, one said this is dragon control heaven technique. Great divine powers in the upper realm why did appear in the lower realms. All empress used loyal subjects knees in front of her after seeing her magnificent aura and said long live the empress. Long live the empress. Empress he looks too powerful. A soldier said is she really only 26 years old? Why am I trembling all over and can't stand up? From a far away place some unknown people were watching this war. They said is this really the empress this girl see you is actually so powerful. One more person was watching this fight it was Hong. He said this Shen Feng empress is talented the imperial aura soars to the nine heavens. If it develops normally the future is boundless. I'm afraid she will become the new emperor Zhe. When King Ning saw his solders loosing he said everyone. Don't panic. Hold on master of divine fire from the six sects will be here soon. Empress he said why didn't master divine fire from the six major sects come? Could it be that they sensed my divine power and dared not die together? Suddenly a cultivator come to report to King Ning. King Ning said dark knight where are the venerable from the six sects? That dark knight was shaking in fear. He said king in the woods outside the city. I found the remnants of the six venerable. King Ning said what how is it possible? That's a venerable in the divine fire realm and there are still six. When Empress hear that she said how could this be? Could it be that the clanelders made a move? But it's impossible. These old fellows will never intervene in the battle for the throne. What's more they are closer to King Ning than to me. Empress said forget it I can't take care of that much. Can't make my husband and the people in the city to wait. Hurry up and clean up the battlefield then go back to a company husband. 
Empress told General Fu to quickly clean the battlefield. The guilty King Ning must captured alive and the defenders of the city will be rewarded after the battle. Prime Minister Fu and Old Minister Feng lead the soldiers. They said soldiers obey orders. Follow us to kill the enemy quickly and capture King Ning alive. When King Ning saw them coming for him, he start laughing and said lie see you even if this king is defeated. You are not qualified to judge me. He full out his shining sword and cut his own neck himself. Empress Yu was sad to see her uncle die like that so she turned her face from there. Then she announced King Ning rebelled. Pleaded guilty and committed suicide did not enter the imperial temple was assigned by his clan. She told them to find a good place and have a good burial from King Ning.